Hi, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Phone Central. Here with a video review of Airport City for Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8. It comes from Game Insight, who make a lot of city building games. So you start out with an airport here, and your first objective is to build a runway. So I buy it from the in-game store. Buy. And yeah, I can put it a few different places. I could also put it over there and rotate it if I wanted, but we'll just go with that. Completed my little mission. Now I've got to build a hangar, which again I buy from the store. Put it wherever, that's fine. Then I could wait for it to finish building, but I'm supposed to speed it up, so that's what we'll do. It costs coins, which is the soft currency. Buy a propeller-driven plane. So, these planes here will unlock when you reach higher experience levels. Send it on its maiden flight, which is a training flight. After you select the flight, you gotta fuel it up. Then you have to load it with passengers. And finally, the plane is ready to take off. There it goes. Then I can track how much time it has left over here to the right. Get a little award for completing that. Now they want me to use the fuel from my warehouse. Fuel is like energy in this game. You have a lot of resources to deal with, but... The game at least explains it all pretty well, I think. Now I have to speed... I can speed up the flight by spending additional fuel. If you're in a hurry for some reason, you could do that, but you will run out of fuel if you spend it on junk, like speeding stuff up. Now I have to collect passengers. See, here's what's cool about Airport City. It's not just a little airport management game. You actually have a real city to deal with. Residential buildings produce passengers. That's what these suitcases are. That's the end of the tutorial. I've leveled up. Over here you can see missions that pop up. Now that I've made this single flight a certain number of times, I've filled in a star for it. You can do that up to three times and you'll get awards each time. So that's worth doing. This hat here is experience and coins that I earn. Each flight costs passengers and fuel. So that's two resources to deal with. Now I have to build some cottages, because the more residential buildings I have, the more passengers I'll generate. Like all things, they can be purchased from the in-game store. Here's the residential area. Now I have to build three cottages. And cottages have to be connected, I mean houses have to be connected to a road which is kind of annoying. It makes sense, but still. Now I have to build three eateries. So here's another thing. You don't get enough coins just from sending planes out on flights. You also need businesses. This is part of developing your city. So, just gonna throw them any which place, but loose. Normally I wouldn't speed up things, because that's a waste of money. Besides sending your own planes out, you also get guest planes who want to land in your airport. You can allow or refuse it. You would never actually want to refuse it, but it does cost a few passengers to land them. Still, it's worth it, because not only do you get money and experience, but they can also drop random items. Here comes that plane in. This game also has some social features. First I've got to put in a username. That was weird. I brought up the keyboard and it wasn't actually ready for input. Also, it doesn't automatically delete the blank username. It doesn't do that in the phone game either, which is pretty annoying. There we go. So my username is in. There's not even like an OK prompt or anything. 
but it's in. To start with, you have a computer neighbor you can visit. Here she is. Once you go to her town, you can interact with these different things, like if you need passengers or money or whatever. You're only able to interact with a certain number per day. Now I go back home. Get a daily bonus. Here's one thing I really don't like about this game's friend system, is it uses friend codes, much like uh, like an online game on the Wii or Wii U. Friend codes are a horrible idea. You should be able to just trade usernames, not have to deal with this. So if I wanted to add somebody to my friends list, I would have to get their silly code and put it in here. Doesn't encourage you to actually make friends with people. On the other hand, compared to My Country 2020, this game does have a better gifting system. In 2020 My Country, you could only send people random gifts and they were always useless. This one, you can actually pick what you're sending them. So if you know your friend needs fuel or something, that's what you can give them. Or passengers or whatever. Those things are always useful. Airport City is free to play. You have a soft currency, the coins, which we've already talked about. Then you have a hard currency, which is airport cash. And you just need that for certain premium buildings. And also boosts all cost airport cash. You do get free boosts every now and then. These just give you things like doubling your fuel and stuff. So you don't have to make the purchases if you really get into the game and want to speed up your progress or just reward the developers, then it's a good idea to do so. Thanks for watching. Read the full review at wpcentral.com.